First of all, you've been defined by a lot of very tough ads of this campaign, and a lot of folks think you're a really controversial guy. I want to give you a few minutes to define yourself for us. What do you want Virginians to know about E.W. Jackson? Well, that probably most of what they hear in the mainstream media <laughs> from my opponent is not true. Uh, the fact of the matter is I've been a unifying figure all my life. Um, my wife and I founded the Martin Luther King Leadership Breakfast in Chesapeake, bringing people together across all denominational, religious, and racial lines. We have a program called Youth with a Destiny to help young people avoid gangs, drugs, violence. Uh, but sadly, I think there's a certain hostility against people with strong religious convictions. And it, it is sad because that's what, not what our Constitution provides. All right, let's, let's talk about some of those things you said because that is... Really, or uh, alleged to have said, Alleged yes. to have said. Okay, for, fine enough. Let's ask you. Did you say that gay people live a sick lifestyle, that they're sick people? Never said that. What I've said is I think that the movement, the effort to change the culture is an effort to, to pervert things. But look... Here's the thing. I said that in the context of ministry. Right. And as a minister, I teach what? The Bible. Right. I'm not running to be minister of Virginia or bishop of Virginia. Fair enough. You also said non-Christians are engaged in some sort of false religion, correct? Well, look, what I said was that uh, what every preacher in every church across mm -hmm. Virginia, Maryland, everywhere else believes, Jesus is the only way. But right. here again, I'm not running to be uh, preacher of Virginia. Fair so. You know, you, you this a, is the application of a religious test. That's, that's what's the, that's what's fair the problem enough, is. Fair enough, uh, Bishop. You, you make a good point. Lieutenant Governor for everybody. I'm an American. I believe in the Constitution of the United States. There are no second-class citizens. Uh, I have to represent people who are gay, people who are straight, people who are black, people who are white, people who are religious, people who are not religious at all. I practiced law for 20, 15 years. I never walked into a courtroom and quoted scripture. So I understand the Constitution and what the proper let me, role let me, of let me put, let me put this to you, uh, Reverend. You said that the U.S. Armed Forces are going to be punished by God because of the end of don't never ask, said don't that. tell. Yeah, that's, well, that's absolutely that's not true. categorically not true. See, that's what I mean. I've never said anything like that because I don't believe it. And there are other things that have been said that I said, and I simply didn't say them. All right. So you make no apologies for what you've said, but you're saying you've been misquoted and misunderstood. Well, look, I think it's worse than that. I think I've been slandered. Unfortunately, this is not about issues. I, I'm not a politician. I'm a person who loves people. I want to serve. But politicians, like my opponent, seem to think that lying, skewing the facts is the way you win. If I have to win that way, I won't win. I'm going to win by telling the truth and staying on the issues. Let's